हेलो क्लास सेवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लाइव सेशन सो चैप्टर वन वी विल बी डूइंग विथ एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री थ्री क्वेश्चंस बाय लियो टॉल्स्टॉय सो विल बी डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर वन लुकिंग फॉर वॉल्चर्स एग्स बाय विभूति भूषण बांद्यपाध्याय सो लेट्स look or let's uh, see what you have of bibhuti bhushan bandopadhyay who was he actually bibhuti bhushan bandopadhyay who was born in 1894 and died in 1950 was a writer of novels short stories travel logs so novels are very lengthy stories you know uh, short stories are those stories which are basically they are very short within one or two pages like that and travel logs when you go to certain places then you write about how you, how was your experience regarding that place the different places you have visited in that place uh, you write it down that is called a travel log so his first novel pothir pachali is a landmark in bengali fiction so that has become word in the bengali fiction it has become a landmark means everybody knows about it it's renowned and was adapted into an award winning winning film by satyajit ray so satyajit ray have uh, have a uh, gotten award winning film for this okay He has gotten award um, for depicting this uh, this whole story in a film chadir pahar and aranyak are among his other famous novels so bibhuti bhushan bandopadhyay has also written chadir pahar and aranyak are these two legendary works of vibhuti bhushan bandopadhyay so let's get to the overview of the chapter what this story is what are we going to study about looking for vultures eggs so this story is taken from a translation of a bengali novel so it's a translation the english has been translated and taken from pothir panchali so what does pothir panchali means pothir panchali means the song of the road by vibhuti bhushan bandyapadhyay the novel traces so the story will trace will give us the idea about the journey of a poor young boy so what the story will say the story will tell us about a poor young boy opu whose name was opu who lives in a village with his mother and what was his mother's name his mother's name was sarbojaya and he also had a sister named durga but his poverty does not limit his imagination means his imagination is very high so being poor he does not stop dreaming or completely imagining something have you ever wanted to fly so have has anybody wanted to fly so in this excerpt Opu finds a book that mentions a formula to make people fly. So Opu, here lies the secret. So what is the secret? Secret is that he finds a book. Opu here finds a book where he gets a formula of how to fly. How will people fly regarding that formula? So Opu is fascinated. So he is very happy. He is very excited. and sets about collecting the necessary items so those are the items that will be necessary for to for, for the formula so he started collecting it he is sure that he will be able to fly so he is very sure that some or the other day when this formula will be completed and he will be arranging all the things that is needed for that formula he will surely fly so i'm reading it we'll do only the first page today so take it rest check it how it goes there was one piece of information which opu had not passed on to anybody not even to his sister so passed on means he has not shared so opu has had not shared with anybody not even with his sister a piece of information one day at about noon he had opened a wooden chest which belonged to their father so he you can see it in the picture that he is opening a chest and he found a book over there the chest was crammed with books so crammed it was filled with it was filled with books he opened the books one by one and turned over the pages to see whether there were any pictures to look at or perhaps 
a good story. So, he was just turning over the pages to take a look whether there were some whether there were some pictures or not or that book contained a good story so it was in one of them that he had come across this amazing piece of information so this amazing piece of information that we read in the very first paragraph was collected from this book the book had a title on the cover an anthology of ancient philosophical works so what was the title the title was anthology of ancient philosophical works so anthology of ancient philosophical and works so here it's a collective item of what collective item of some philosophical works he had not the slightest notion of what the title meant so he had no he had no idea about what the title actually meant but the cover was faded and mottled like marble so it it was faded and the cover was little uh, spotted type okay on the top of it like white white spots were everywhere because um, it was kept inside the chest for very long years and he has turned it back a swarm of silver fish darted out and disappeared as fast as they could so silver fish are small silvery wingless insects that feeds on wood scraps book bindings etc so these are little insects that feed on the pages and the book bindings they actually stay there eat there eat those things so a swarm of silver fish darted out so as soon as it turned over that book so there were very insects inside the book and that hurried away from there so what the book contained what it has how uh, he gets the formula we'll do it in the very next class so till then have a good day have and i hope you will be keeping the suspense and uh, what the story says we'll discuss it in the later class okay thank you bye bye